Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So with Valentine's Day coming up in a few days, I thought I would share some simple and affordable DIYs to make not only for your significant others, but also for friends and family to show them that you care. Most of the materials I use are relatively cheap and I got them all from my local dollar store in Michaels. I'll be sure to list out all the materials I use along with their costs in the description box below, so check that out if you're interested. And also what's great about these projects are that they are 100% customizable, which means that you can take what I made and then pick out little parts and pieces that you like and then add them to your projects. So I guess without further ado, why don't we get started with the first one? The first project I'll be showing you guys is the painted mason jar. We're going to start off with the matte acrylic white paint and we're just going to squeeze a little bit out. We don't want too much and then we're just gonna start painting the entire mason jar from top to bottom. Now it really depends on what color and brand you're using, but one coat was enough for me. So we're just gonna let this dry, which should take about 20 minutes or so. And once it's dried, we're going to take some twine and wrap it around the top of the mason jar and tie a bow at the end. I used about 48 inches of twine to be able to wrap it around three times. You can use as much or as little as you want, depending on your taste. I really like the twine because it's a nice contrast to the paint and really brings it all together. Now there's a lot of uses for this jar. In my case, I went ahead and put in some nice pretty fake flowers I got from the dollar store, but you can also fill the jar with your Valentine's favorite candy or even little notes with date ideas. The possibilities are endless for this project. The next project is something that comes near and dear to my heart which is painted flower pots. If y'all watched my previous DIY video, you'll know just how much I love painting flower pots. So to start off, I'll be using two different colors of acrylic paint, cadmium red and white, both of which are from Basics. I use about one part red to five parts white. And now I'm just gonna mix the two together and start painting my flower pot. Usually one layer is enough, but you can always go back in and touch up some spots if needed. Also make sure you paint the bottom of the pot, I'll explain why later. And now that the entire pot is dry, we're just going to take some of that same red and switch to a smaller brush to paint some hearts onto the pot. I ended up painting hearts in different shapes and sizes all around the pot but it's totally up to you how you want to decorate it. So the reason why I painted the bottom of the pot is because you can add little secret designs there that only the person you gift it to will see. You can put your anniversary date, inside jokes, or anything you want there. So now that we're done painting the pot, we're just gonna let it dry and then add a top coat to seal everything in. This is the most important step because you don't want your acrylic paint washing away every time you water the plant. So once the top coat is dry, we're going to add in the soil and the plant. In this case, I use one of the succulents I had on hand because my parents love succulents and we have a whole garden full of them. This part is completely optional, but I bought these cake topper signs and wrote a nice little pun onto them to stick in my pot. It says, life would suck without you. Get it? Because I had a succulent? <laughs> Anyways, there you go! You have a nice personalized painted pot for your valentine.
The last project is something that is very cost effective and anyone can make within 5 minutes. All you need is a 4x6 piece of paper and scissors. I use cardstock so it's sturdier, but you can also use origami paper, construction paper, or even computer paper if that's all you have. So we're just going to take our piece of paper and fold it in half hot dog style, which is the long way. Next, we're going to take a pair of scissors and cut out half a heart at the top. You can use a pencil to sketch it out first if you like, or you could just eyeball it like I did. Next, we're going to fold the bottom of the paper up until it reaches the middle of the heart where the two arches meet. And be sure to make your creases nice and defined as this would help a lot later. Afterwards, we're going to fold the bottom corners into the middle of the paper, similar to how you make a paper airplane. Now we're just going to fold the top flap over what you just folded, and then bring the small corners around the edge of the heart. And voila! There you go! Now we have a nice heart pocket. So what's great about this project is that if you mess up the first time, all you have to do is grab another sheet of paper and start over. You can put anything you want inside. I went ahead and put some pieces of chocolate, but you can also bake cookies and wrap them up to put inside these hearts to give out to people, but that's totally up to you. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found these DIYs to be helpful. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope everyone has a wonderful Valentine's Day and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye!